to do to go here on WJC.com this Tuesday morning. In Bay County, the St. Andrews Bay Pass Boom is ready to go. The gates have been fixed into place, making the $3 million system complete. The next step is to test the boom system. That will require the Coast Guard to close the gates with the incoming tide. The pass will be closed for a couple of hours, but officials say voters will be given plenty of notice before they begin those tests. The Florida legislator is gathered in Tallahassee about to start a special session. The governor wants to use consider a constitutional amendment to ban drilling off the Florida coast. It's likely that representatives unhappy with Chris could refuse to vote on the issue or find other ways to block the amendment from getting on November's ballot. If approved by Florida's Congress, voters will get a chance to weigh in on the measure. The Progress Florida poll shows 71% of Florida voters want to see the amendment on the November ballot. And this could be bad news for Gator fans. The University of Florida confirms it's investigating allegations that last year's star center, Maurice Pouncey, may have received hundred grand from the rep of a sports agent before Florida's Sugar Bowl win over Cincinnati. If it's proven true, Pouncey, who was the first round pick of the Steelers in the NFL draft in April, took that cash, he would retroactively be ruled ineligible for that bowl win which means the Gators would likely have to forfeit that one as well. And the owner of a small disc jockey school in Brazil is hoping to bring the art to a new generation, but it's not the younger generation. The project is called I'm No Granny, I'm a DJ. It's inspired by the popularity of an elderly British woman who conquered the French rave scene earlier this year. I guess the good news for these students is, if it's too loud, you can always just turn down your hearing aid. That's your news to go for this morning for expanded coverage. Check out the complete stories on our website. Have a great day. Peace out.